President Trump says he's taking an anti-malaria drug as a precaution against coronavirus, even though American health authorities have warned against it. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration said several weeks ago that there was no proof that hydroxychloroquine was effective against the virus and that it could cause heart problems. Mr. Trump's also renewed his attack on the World Health Organization over its response to the initial outbreak in China. In a letter, he said he might make the temporary freeze of U.S. funding of the WHO permanent if it didn't reform. Peter Bowes has this. Hydroxychloroquine, the pill President Trump has been promoting for weeks as a drug that may lessen the symptoms of the coronavirus. There's no medical evidence it helps patients recover from the disease. In fact, it could have fatal side effects. But Mr Trump says even though he's healthy, he's trying it anyway. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. Hydroxychloroquine? I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. When right started, now, yeah. yeah when... A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. Last month, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration said hydroxychloroquine had not been shown to be safe and effective for treating or preventing COVID-19. It issued a warning that some people could suffer serious heart problems as a result of taking it in combination with other drugs. Mr Trump said he'd heard anecdotal evidence that it had helped some coronavirus patients. This is a, a uh, pill that's been used for a long time, for 30, 40 years on the malaria and on lupus too, and even on arthritis, I guess, from what I understand. So it's been heavily tested in terms of, uh, I was just waiting to see your eyes light up when I said this, but, you know, when I announced this. But yeah, I've taken it for about a week and a half now, and uh, I'm still here. The president's doctor said Mr Trump received regular testing for COVID-19 and that he was negative for the virus and free of symptoms. After numerous discussions he and I had regarding the evidence for and against the use of hydroxychloroquine, we concluded the potential benefit from treatment outweighed the relative risk. But that's not how other doctors see it. The president has been roundly condemned for his use of the drug. It's a medication that has serious side effects, including cardiac arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms that could be fatal. And so I really worry about other people listening to what President Trump is saying and potentially taking this medication that has no proven benefit, but actually could have a lot of harm. With the U.S. death toll from the virus now over 90,000 and the country gradually reopening, President Trump seems determined to defy his own experts and offer Americans hope that the coronavirus crisis will soon be over. Mr Trump has also given the World Health Organization an ultimatum, threatening permanently to stop funding the WHO if it fails to commit to major substantive improvements within the next 30 days. Peter Bowes, BBC News, Los Angeles. Well, President Trump's renewed criticism of the WHO comes as the organisation holds the second day of an online meeting of its governing assembly. Our correspondent, Imogen Folks, is in Bern for us, and I asked her what the response has been to those comments from Mr Trump. Well, uh, people at the World Health Organisation uh, in Geneva are waking up this morning to that letter, and... Um, I, I think it has caused a certain amount of shock and dismay because as, as the WHO Director General, Dr Tedros, keeps saying, we are in the middle of a pandemic and our focus needs to be saving lives, controlling the virus, supporting countries to get to a point where they can get people back to work and return to some kind of normality. There are millions and millions of people facing difficulties all over the world because of this virus. So I think the move by, by Donald Trump to say, do what I say, or we're going to cut your funding, is really worrying, not just for the World Health Organization, but for the United Nations as a whole, because you know it depends on member states working together. Multilateralism is the, is the kind of technical word we use for it, and taking decisions together. And the other countries taking part in the World Health Assembly have tried, while approving an independent investigation into the handling of the pandemic, are trying to show their willingness 
to show solidarity and unity in the face of this pandemic. So it's dismaying not just to, to the WHO, but I think to many other member states as well, this letter. Beijing has responded saying Mr Trump was trying to mislead the public and smear China and wanted to use the issue to bargain over its obligations to the WHO.